This is no alternative radio. Can approve since 2016. Yeah. No alternative. No alternative. No alternative. All right, all right, all right. This is Band Chats. We have Didi Dumbo on the show in just a little bit. He's from Australia, a nice one-man piece band there. And uh, to start it off, we're going to play one of his tracks from his new album. The album is called Utopia Defeated. This one is his uh, first single he had on it. It's called Satan. And uh, we'll get to chatting with him in just a bit after the tune. So again, without further ado, Didi Dumbo here, Satan. This is Noel Turner Radio. I never heard that 
and new stuff like this. Japanese breakfast. Angel Olsen. Tor Miller. I'm probably gonna let you down. Oh, oh, oh. Lying awake in a fever. Call me a cold sweat believer. I will be loving you always, always, always. There is no alternative. No alternative radio plays music from indie to punk to sim pop and everything in between. Is this thing on? New music now. Mic check. Ladies and gentlemen, can I please have your attention? I've just been handed an urgent and horrifying news story. And I need all of you to stop what you're doing and listen. One, two, three, go! Are you an emerging artist or band? We'll play your stuff for free. Send request via email to Mike B at noalternativeradio.com. This show is all about finding a star, not feeling sorry for people who aren't very good. Mike B on No Alternative Radio. Honestly, I'd rather listen to my computer's exhaust fan. All right, uh, welcome to the show. It's Mike Check. I am Mike, and we have Mr. Oliver Perry, uh, better known as uh, D.D. Dumbo. How you doing? Good, man. How are you? Good, and uh, he is. Uh, you are in Australia right now, right? Uh, I guess you live in Melbourne now, or um, I live in a town about an hour and a half from Melbourne, uh, in central Victoria, called Castlemaine. Okay, is, yeah, all right. Just like a small country town. Well, not super small, but yeah, about <laughs> ten thousand um, people. So. Yeah, it's quite. That's quite large. Yeah, um, I guess that's pretty. Much, yeah. So we just uh, got done playing your song leading up to here. We played uh, your big single, Satan. Um, how about the, uh, the video with that? Uh, it's a little, uh, I don't know if mysterious is the word, but, uh, how did you come up with the concept for the video? Uh, yeah, my, well, my good friend who's also originally from, uh, Kasumi, um, it was sort of both him and I, yeah, just talking about what, yeah, we wanted just like some pretty, pretty simple sort of thing, just like walking um, but yeah, luckily around where I live, there's some interesting sort of landscapes. Um, yeah, in the first scene, yeah, the, this this is salt salt plain, uh, just like north, probably like three hours north of where I'm from. In this like huge yeah salt salt plain, which is pretty pretty interesting. Cool. Uh, yeah, and you did it all yourself too. Yeah, Jim and I did. Yeah, yeah, with cool. a bunch of uh, locals from uh, yeah Castlemaine and. Nice. Yeah. All right. Uh, so your new record is, um, well, it's uh, called uh, Utopia Defeated, which is like your first full LP. It is out uh, on Friday um, on 4AD Records. And uh, so h- how did you get hooked up with 4AD? And uh, maybe tell you tell me about uh, uh, the, the release of the album, Excited and stuff and whatnot. Yeah, sure. Um, yeah, I, I think it, like, a couple of years ago, yeah, I played at South by Southwest in 2013 or 14. Yeah, in Austin. Uh, yeah, in Austin. Yeah. Um, and I think that's how 4AD got onto me. Yeah. Um, which is yeah, obviously a crazy thing, given that they're yeah, like they're already one of my f- favorite labels. So it was a privilege to be asked to be signed with them. Um. Um. And yeah, as for the album released this Friday, am I excited? Um, k- kind of. I guess it's probably normal when artists sort of know for so long, you know, working with something for so long that they sort of get a bit over it. So, you know, it's 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 uh, it's it's kind of exciting, I guess. But, no, but not, I, 
I get you know, what you're saying. I mean, yeah, yeah, you. I mean, you've been working on it for a long time, so it's sort of like, in your mind, it's it's, it's already done. It's, it's already weeks. out. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So I, I I get that. Uh, so speaking of the time frame, so how long did it, did it take you since your last EP? Basically, been working on it uh, full. I, yeah, probably like three years or two or three years, really. Like, because the EP that I that four ID put out was already put out by uh, another smaller label about the year before and I'd, I think I you know already, obviously already recorded it a, a bit before then so it's been a long time I guess I've, I've tried to I'm one of those people who um, records things and keeps scrapping them and starting again and you know becomes totally neurotic and you know right so I've been doing that for the last <laughs> Three years, two or three years, I guess. I guess kind of like a writer when they write something and they crumple it up and toss it in the bin. <laughs> in that in that kind of dramatic way, yeah, just throwing <laughs> it at the, at, the, at the bin, yeah. Cool. Um, so uh, if uh, listeners don't know, um, you're kind of like a one-man band, so to speak, I guess. Uh, you do it all. Um, of course, you're not the first person to do that, and you certainly won't be the last. But um, is there... A, a, in regards to your album, did anybody else help collaborate on it or contribute to the album, or is it strictly just all you? Um, it's so uh, yeah. It, the, the the engineer um, Fabian Prin, who is like a he's he's a really great drummer and percussionist, but he's also like the in house uh, studio engineer at the Four AD Studios. I basically just did it with him, so he does um, some of the drums and percussion on it, and. You know, help me um, engineer it, um, but all the other stuff is me. Yeah. So yeah, me and him is the whole thing. Really. Part, yeah. it, you, and that was uh, that was in London then, right? Yeah, yeah, in Wandsworth with the 4D Studios, it's yeah. in this tiny basement sort of studio. Right. Uh, speaking yeah. of, uh, so do you still live in? Uh, I mean, now that you have your quote unquote big record deal, I guess so to speak, with 4AD. You still live uh, in, a, in a little shed, or have you moved up into uh, like a uh, <laughs> I, I, an overly luxurious mansion? No, um, <laughs> I, I've just moved out of the this sort of horse stables shed thing, but I'm currently, you know, um, transitioning into a, into another place. So, yeah, so, that, I'm sure the, the the my shed situation wasn't wasn't too um, primitive. Like there was. I think um, maybe someone's written it out to, as though I'm this eccentric sort of hermit, but maybe there's some truth in that. But I, I, it's, you know, I've got a I've got a phone and a computer and internet connection, so yeah. Yeah. So not not total like uh, not saying that you're like this, but like the Unabomber, not total recluse, I guess. <laughs> uh, unfortunately, not. No, I'm probably <laughs> incredibly um, normal and boring. So yeah. <laughs> So uh, back to you know like you talk about doing everything yourself for the most part. So when you perform live, uh, and I, I've seen some of your stuff in the past, and it's pretty much all you. When you start your next uh, string of dates live, are you going to bring uh, your producer with you, or is it just still going to be just you? I'm trying to figure out a way to sort of because I obviously uh, multi-tracked a lot on the album, and actually didn't really use any loop pedal stuff that like I u- mm-hmm. would usually live trying to figure out a way to sort of form a hybrid of the two like I, like um, this is like the my next challenge I guess which I still haven't fully uh, figured out but yeah sort of I guess I'm hoping to do like yeah some loop stuff and then some other stuff with additional musicians yeah okay cool but it's nice. a work in progress yeah. right so uh, so I guess so that my next question would be uh, if, if your plans so since it's a work in progress, do you have any things set in stone or temp like not, uh, not as of yet really? Yeah, still sort of figuring it out. Yeah. Any places but you hopefully you, hopefully next year I'll, I'll I'll do a bit of quite a bit of touring, but hard hard to say yeah. at this point. Okay. Uh, you, is the UK in the plans? I know you've, you've toured in the past with in the UK um, with supporting other acts. Do you have any maybe plans to come to the UK again? Uh, yeah, I think that would be a definite, um, definite place to go. Uh, yeah, next year at some stage. Yeah. Okay. Cool. All right, we'll take a short break real quick here. Uh, we're gonna play your um, your latest uh, single from the new album. Uh, it's called Walrus, and uh, we're back after this with uh, DD Dumbo. This is No Alternative Radio. Mic check.
back we have oliver also known as dd dumbo so i'm sure not the first person to ask you this but what's the deal with the name uh the not your real name I... your stage name <laughs> <laughs> yeah um uh it's it's there's no i don't think there's any sort of profound um meaning behind it other than you know it's a it's a it's a vague tribute to uh a deep sea creature the dumbo squid that looks like Dumbo the elephant um the DD is probably yeah I don't, I don't know you know it could be like doctor of divinity but that that's fairly pretentious so I think I'll just you know yeah it's meaningless basically just just keep it mysterious it makes it better that way I should yeah I should have just not not answered and yeah, <laughs> yeah. still somewhat mysterious though uh so um oh, good <laughs> Um, what was I going to ask you? Oh, yeah. So, you know, we did talk about uh, how you toured a bit um, in the UK in the past and well, in Australia, obviously, with, you know, you've toured with some pretty large uh, acts like Daughter and Warpaint and Tame Impala. Is there anybody in particular that uh, you really enjoyed uh, um, hanging out with, maybe, or had a good chance to talk to, maybe about the music industry, etc.? Didn't. I've never really gone in depth in talking about the music industry with anyone I've toured with. Like, um, I supported Tune Yards um, in Melbourne, which is which was cool because I was because I'm a big fan of hers and or well, theirs. Um, um, and they're from there too, right? Is that right, or are they from? No, they're from, they're from America. Oh, are sure. they? Okay. So uh, uh, when it goes to um, your 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 influence, I guess your eclectic mix that you listen to. I mean, uh, it seems like you know, you've got everything from African music to blues that influence you. Or is there any particular favorite, or is there any rhyme or reason? It's just stuff that you enjoy and it inspires you. Yeah, I, I guess I, I really need to explore more sort of various world folk music. Um, but there, there are like some particular artists that I think have influenced me. Like nothing that obscure as well like you know people like Ali Fakatore from you know 
um, like the desert blues sort of sound of definitely into and um, yeah and there's some um, bits and pieces from different countries like uh, some Mongolian stuff there's this band um, who I saw on like a WOMAD tour in Adelaide in Australia who were called Anda Union who um, I really got into uh, for a time and yeah they, they like do throat singing and stuff like that but the, the melodies and it's more than just sort of novelty throat singing you know, it's just really good stuff um, yeah that's a, a couple of cool things yeah i mean yeah i mean you, you definitely uh sound like you know your thing or two about music to say at least uh so is there um so who's the last person that you did see live is there anybody uh maybe that the listeners might know oh shit that's a good question um uh, it's been a while to be honest i think to be honest I, I, the the last thing i saw i can't remember the names of the guys it was like an indian um classical indian concert just in Melbourne, a couple of um, guys just having a play in this sort of pretty casual sort of hall. Unfortunately, I can't remember their names, but uh, that was pretty cool. Um, That's all right. Uh, some of the some yeah. of the best, some of the, in my opinion, some of the best gigs you'll ever see are just the ones you just randomly show up upon, and then there you go, and you're just like, wow, this is quite good. Totally, and you'll never hear of them again. And, right. Yeah. You may never well, even never may, may never remember their name, like you said, and. Uh, for all you know, five years from now, they could be all over the place, and you're just like, yeah, I think I remember them. But, well, I'll tell you what, I'll, I'll ask you a couple more questions here in a minute. Let me just take a break real quick. Um, I'm going to put on one of your actually your older songs from your EP. Um, have, you have anything particular when you put on? I was going to put on uh, Tropical Oceans. Um, oh, yeah, it's up, up to you. you all right. Go ahead. We'll do that, Tropical Oceans, and then we'll be back with just a few more questions um, from Oliver, a.k.a. D.D. Dumbo.
Primitive Radio plays old stuff and new stuff, like this. The Voyage. Ruben Holtman. So bang the drums, cause here we come, my brother and I, we are the ones that will never die. The Mathletics. There is no alternative. A few more quick questions here. Um, this is a little more uh, personal, I guess, if you will. Um, you just answer them however you want to answer them. All right. You ready? Oh, okay. <laughs> go, go it. All right. I can't promise anything. Um... No problem. It, it, they're not too in-depth. But <laughs> <Sorry>. <laughs> favorite junk food? Favorite junk food? Oh, that's tricky. I'm kind of one of those health nut guys, so I've, I've almost forgotten about it. I had a feeling I... you were going to say that. <laughs> oh, no. Um, a peanuts uh, junk food? Oh, come on. No way. <laughs> okay. right. Chocolate-covered peanuts, I guess, would be. I'd be into that. Yeah, we, right. can, we can use that. All right. Chocolate-covered peanuts it is. All right. Um, I don't know if you go to the cinema very much, since you do say you're you're a little bit of a hermit, but if if you have been, um, what's the last film that you saw? Oh, uh, I'm actually yeah I'm terrible with that I I, I can't even remember um, so yeah I'm exposing my hermit um, that's okay my my hermit nature don't, to the world you know? don't feel bad I don't I don't go to movies much anymore any especially I got kids so half the time it's oh, usually right, something okay. kid some kids movie that I don't want to see that I zone out in anyway <laughs> okay. all right uh, so understood all right uh, do you have a f- favorite part about um, when you do tour do you have a favorite Thing you like about it? I mean, it could be anything other than playing the music. Could be visiting people or the new cities or trying new food. Uh, I guess, unfortunately, it's, it's the boring answer, which is just sort of yeah, playing in a different place. I guess um, yeah, doing the actual uh, you know, and, and seeing other bands. You know, those moments when I actually realize that it's uh, not that I've done it that much, but the the few moments that I've you know actually realized that I've been lucky enough to be given the opportunity to do it. Yeah, it's, that's that's a pretty good feeling once it's sort of, you know, if you're uh, experiencing some right. Uh, right fatigue from, you know, poor sleep and, and you know, living in a, a bus or something. Right, yeah. That's probably, uh, you know, that's, that's probably the worst that's, part, right? I guess so, although I'm, I'm like the, the, the most anti sort of rock star ever, like barely drink and don't really party, so... Yeah. So you yeah. remember. So you remember most of your tour. Then that's a good thing. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> do you when you're on stage? Do you ever kind of get, um, I guess, nervous? I mean, a lot of people always say they get even. No matter you know, even the biggest people, Rolling Stones say sometimes he still gets mm-hmm. nervous and going out there. But is that? Do you have that issue? Uh, it, it sort of fluctuates. Sometimes I do quite a bit, and then then it'll sort of yeah dissipate. Um, usually, like. If I'm sort of yeah, if it's been a long run, at the, t- towards like the very end, I start to feel like really good, and then it's sort of over. But I guess that's probably normal, too. Like I, I, I'm yeah, I'm normally like complaining about how how like bad I played, and you know, complaining about sound just to myself. Right, right. Perhaps the sound guy too, but yeah, and then okay, but not that you really were asking about that, but yeah. <laughs> Two more questions. Okay, this one is a uh, kangaroo or koala. Oh, they're both really uh, cool. Like, there's a lot of kangaroos near my, well, in the area that I live, so I see them often. But koalas are hard to come by where I am. Um, so probably go with koala just because I don't see them as often. All right. Um, and so, final question. This is a lot of our um, our program has to do with new artists. Um, everything from you know unsigned artists um you know a lot of people say you know the old cliche you know like people 
inspiration, they say, hey, you know, you just got to keep at it. If it's what you want to do, you love it, keep doing it. Uh, you know, it could be sort of a cliche at times, but do you have anything to spread to new artists? Maybe a challenge, like a biggest challenge for you in becoming to where you are now? What was your biggest challenge? I still feel like like a novice, really, in terms of experience in like the industry, if you. But I don't know. I guess, yeah. No, I guess it's a common sort of um, the reason why you actually do it in the first place, and that, like that. Yeah. So basically, uh, to kind of sit back and sort of take a step back and breathe a little bit and go, you know, like I'm doing this because of X, Y, Z. Yeah, yeah, and like like the uh, like the. You know, I think the, like the the original um, uh, cause of you know you making music would probably be like a you know fairly pure sort of uh, desire to express something. I think like yeah, like and, and as, as soon as it becomes something else, I think that's when you know the the music suffers, obviously. But uh, mm-hmm. it's 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 interesting how easily um, negatively affected, uh, like yeah. It, artistic expression can be sort of influenced and i'm not saying that i'm I'm like excluded from that i think at times you know it's 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 easy to sort of you know forget like you know get you know i i I think i I mean you're trying to say like yeah i I guess like a challenge would be um one of the biggest challenges like as an artist you're you're making music this way or you sound like this but then maybe uh producers or labels or whoever says and maybe you need to do this or need to do that but basically the challenge is trying to keep it your way because that's what you want to do that's what you want to sound like yeah because i i think i think anyone that would really benefit from it and this is sort of obvious when you reflect on it but i guess um yeah it's so evident in lots of music that it's you know pretty um influenced by you know you know perceptions of what should be good and that yeah never really is that great but um yeah okay uh we're gonna finish up here we'll play one more track off of your new album which again is out on friday it's called utopia defeated and um which your choice which one would you like us to put on we already played satan and walrus um, um what would you like to put so, on well i think the next single uh officially that's coming out is brother so yeah let's let's pick that one we'll do brother all right we will put on brother um thank you very much to oliver aka dd dumbo the mysterious name forever and check out his video you can youtube it vivo Uh, it's a cool video if you have not seen it yet um and uh thank you very much and hopefully we'll see you sometime in the spring in the uk and all that good stuff yeah thanks for having me cheers no problem bye New music now. Mic check.
No alternative radio. Wherever and however, thanks for listening to No Alternative Radio. Get the free app from the Google Play Store to listen on the go for free. Yes, that's it. It's No Alternative Radio. This is the band champ, band chat with DD Dumbo. Pick up his new album now, Utopia Defeated. You can get it it's on 4AD label. And it's good stuff too. Get it. Could, you can get the vinyl. The vinyl is actually probably the coolest vinyl you ever see. It's a cool little splatter vinyl with orange and white and black. It's pretty sweet. So go get it now. Uh, and we'll have some more band chats coming up uh, throughout November, including Fear of Men and um, who else? Uh, we have Quilt as well and a few other bands. Just stay tuned. NoAlternativeRadio.com for more info. In the meantime, see you later. Peace. No Alternative Radio. 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 We play the best from indie, punk, synth pop, grunge, and much more. No alternative radio. No alternative radio.